We are living in a period where climate is changing quickly, mostly related with human activities. But if we know what the climate did in the past, we can better understand what the climate can do in the future. Mexico City. It's the center of a sprawling metropolis that fills a high-altitude basin surrounded by volcanoes. With a population of more than 21 million people, this is the sixth largest metropolitan area in the world. Scientists are asking, what will happen to this area as the climate changes? To find out, Mexican and U.S. scientists are collaborating on a research project at Lake Chalco at the southern end of Mexico City. The scientists are drilling into ancient lake bed sediments to look for clues to climate change going far back in time. We hope that we can reconstruct the climatic and the environmental history analyzing these lake bed sediments. Lake Chalco is a remnant of a series of lakes that once filled the basin of Mexico. On an island in the largest of the lakes, the Aztec people dug canals and built a city called Tenochtitlan in the 1300s. 200 years later, Spanish invaders replaced Aztec buildings with their own. They renamed the city Mexico City and continued to drain the lakes for flood control and to use the land. Eventually, only a few lakes remained, including Lake Chalco. Here, scientists are drilling around the clock to unearth a rich archive of material that goes back to well before humans walked the earth. The goal of the project is to recover sediments that have accumulated in the basin of Mexico over the last five, six, seven hundred thousand years. Um, and those sediments, as they accumulate, they record information about the environment, about the climate. And so we can learn about how the environment has changed, how the climate has changed in this region. The scientists want to know how the environment reacts to changes in the climate. How do rainfall patterns change? And what does that do to vegetation? And what happens if the climate changes suddenly in a matter of decades, as it is doing right now? We know that there are periods when the climate changes very quickly. And uh, in those moments are crucial because uh, how long does it take the vegetation to adapt to a climatic change? Or how long does it take a lake to adapt to this climate change? So in, in understanding these fast processes of climate change, we can probably have a better idea of what can happen in the modern context of very fast climatic changes. To analyze what's in the drill cores, the scientists first take them to the nearby National Autonomous University of Mexico. They look for traces of pollen, leaves, and algae to understand conditions in the lake and the surrounding area. What I do is to analyze the pollen content in the lake bed sediments. And with all this information, uh, I reconstruct the vegetation history in this part of uh, central Mexico. This looks like a sandy layer here. My own work is looking at organic molecules that are derived from the environment. For example, the waxy coating of leaves can blow into the lake, and then I can use those molecular fossils to understand what sort of vegetation was around, and that vegetation is dependent on climate and environmental conditions. From lava and ash in the sediments, scientists are also learning about the history and frequency of volcanic eruptions, with an eye to better prediction in this region of extremely active volcanoes. But the great value of the drill cores is the treasure trove of climate information they hold, information about climate changes that dramatically affect civilizations. This area has long been inhabited. Teotihuacan, built around 100 BC, just north of Mexico City, was once the largest city in Mesoamerica. But by around the 8th century, the city was abandoned. 
It is thought that climate change, drought, and famine may have played a role in the end of this civilization. What will happen to this area as the climate changes? How will today's rapidly changing climate affect the vulnerable ecosystem of the Basin of Mexico, and thereby the mega population of Mexico City? The Basin of Mexico is a very densely populated region, and there's a lot of strain on resources. The rate of climate change we're observing currently is faster than anything we've seen in the, in the geological record. Understanding how the environment will change in the future is very critical to a very large number of people.